you for a long time. Hello, old friend. Hello, indeed. Warm ourselves. Our old pals at the back. Question mark. I've got a build. Check it out. So this is a bit of a crazy build, I've got a lot of stuff going on, uh, it all works really good together, it's basically based on the bottom tree dawn blade, everything, your melees, your grenades, burn, it cause explosions, I did a video on this yesterday, so everything, all your melees, all your grenades, burn, cause explosions, enhancing the burn effects with dawn chorus, it enhances all the burn effects uh, from your grenade and melee and it also sort of interacts with a few weapons it interacts with a uh, two-tailed fox in particular but again on don chorus it actually turns the super into a dps super so the super itself it, as you do damage to the targets it'll just keep going up the numbers keep going up up and up and up and up and up until the target dies or your super runs out and then what i'm doing is i'm, I'm incorporating two-tailed fox into that so how that works, it fires two rockets, a void rocket and a solar rocket. The solar rocket causes solar splash damage or solar impact damage. And the void rockets suppress enemies. Now that's a key word, suppress. I've done a video on this before, but this seasonal mod here, suppressive darkness. Whenever you suppress a combatant, you also weaken them, causing them to take damage for additional time. So if you hit something with your two-tailed fox, it's going to suppress them. And it's going to give you a 15% debuff to everything. Your super that you can use with Dawn Chorus, which I've got some clips. Your grenades are going to do extra damage, your weapons are going to do extra damage, everything's going to do extra damage via Two Tail Fox with the suppression rocket, the void rocket, and suppressive darkness. And as you've seen in the clips, I'm doing Warman cells. Uh, I've got a little sort of setup for that. I will come get Warman cells into the build as well, cause even more burns, even more explosions, as you've seen boom everywhere this one is a really important one wrath of rasputin solar splash damage final blows have a chance to create war man cells so that's how we're creating the war man cells and how i'm creating the war man cells there's various different weapons i'm running this at the moment explosive personality it's really really good it's a solar wave frame so that it's solar splash damage the two tail fox also causes solar splash damage and that procs the Warman cells via Wrath of Rasputin. And then what I do, this is an old favourite, Global Reach. Warman cells you create uh, effect and damage targets at a great distance. So it just extends the sort of radius of the blast and the burn. And I'm also running burning cells just again to enhance the burn effects that I've already got from the Dawn Blade and the Dawn Chorus. So the burning cells just enhances and the burning. And then the other little mods I'm running is Font of Might. So every time I pick up a solar elemental well, I get a 25% damage buff to my solar weapons. And I'm also running Elemental Ordinance. So I'm creating elemental wells via that. So that's the build, short and sweet. R quite simple to knock together. You just need a couple of solar pieces. I'll leave the dim link in there and basically have a play, see what you think. Just keep an eye on the clips that I do with regards to Two Tail Fox because it improves your super on any character if you run this mod. Suppressive Darkness on this particular one, it's Dawn Chorus and Bottom Tree, but you can even do this on a Titan, fire your two-tailed fox, go in there with a big tasty thunder crash as long as you've got Suppressive Darkness, it's going to give you a 15% debuff and a 15% buff to your super. So that's it all explained and I'm just going to leave some clips out, probably chat as I'm going. This is the Warman Cells, the Rafa Rasputin and the Bottom Tree and the Dawn Chorus all working together this will work well it will you get the explosions on other characters but they're extra sort of burn then explosions you won't get that on any other character than the bottom tree warlock just because of the sort of subclass how it works the burn and the chaining and then the explosions there's some perfect clips of that now look it's just chaining and chaining that only is only going to happen on the bottom tree warlock unfortunately 
how they can all chain together. Uh, it's really good, really fun. Uh, one man cells did receive a bit of a nerf, but they're still pretty useful, I think, with this setup. And that was what I did then. I stuck my two tail fox into him, debuffed the enemy, and I've got my super, so my super does extra damage to that target. And I think I've just got some more clips now of the chaining, how the chaining effect is working. That's again the bottom tree sun singer, the explosions and extra bends from the Dawn Chorus helmet. Just tick it away there, and then that little thrall's going to pop, and then it's going to pop the rest of them around him. Spawn another Warman Cell because of Wrath of Rasputin. So it's pretty cool. Another Two Tail Fox to suppress him and debuff him with the mod and then I'm putting my super into him doing extra damage with my super so all in all pretty good build it's got a bit of everything a bit of ad clearance another two tail fox to suppress him there and then my super so you can do this pretty much all the time on any target I hope the build has been good uh, feedback is always appreciated I'll leave a dim link I hope you have a really really good day